Hello everybody, I'm Scott Dragon, and welcome to, well, another first look at a new game. This is Hero Defense Haunted Island. This is a tower defense game with a kind of interesting little twist on it and a lovely art aesthetic kind of that caught my kind of attention. I was like going through some pages and, oh, that looks nice and shiny uh, on the pictures and I thought, mm, I'll give it a shot. And I've now spent about four hours playing it without realizing or having my lunch. So, yeah, that, that's a good point. Uh, it is an early access, so... All unusual problems apply for early access games. Things can change. Features will be added. Features can be taken away. Bugs may happen. It might not work as great on your system because it might not be fully optimised. Please keep your eye on patch notes. This review is getting done on the 27th of January. So please check any patch notes since then. If there's a problem that I point out, it might still happen. Shall we start getting into the options? Okay. Fullable rebindable controls. Can't ask for better than that. Yeah. Bindable controls. Yay! I'm actually quite happy with the default ones. They actually work quite nicely. Uh, but some people like weird and wacky controls. Some people like inverting controls. But these work for me. Video. We have the resolution sliders. What's fine. It goes all the way down. Goes all the way up. I'm happy with that. Cancel. Oop. Go back to that. Video. Full screen. No borderless windowed. Why? Just give me borderless windowed, please! Ah, yeah, so much. V-Sync <laughs> and visual quality. No real changes here, but, you know, ultra all the way down to the low. Ultra runs fine on my 970. Audio, three, three usual sliders you get. The master, the sound, the mix. For this, that works fine as well. And the language, you have a nice little selection. But we'll stick with English because I only know English. Kind of. Okay. Shall we go straight into where I left off? I've done a couple hours uh, playing it. Uh, basically how this works, instead of a tower defense where you have your towers you place, you have heroes. These heroes are your towers. You can move them around. So, you start off the game, you do a little tutorial, and you eventually come to your town where you can start unlocking a school and... Uh, a weapon smith, so where you can upgrade and change your weapons. It actually is an RPG element to this. Uh, so, you have two characters, you have an archer straight off the bat, and you can put runes in different slots to give you different abilities when you charge up. I'll explain that a little bit later. And you can also, let me go back to the training school, put points into a tech tree. So you can just build up your character in unique ways. No, it's not really in depth tech trees. It's not like uh, you're an MMO or uh, like StarCraft. It's not going to be like you have to go down this team that takes off another thing. But yeah, it works. It gives you what you need for this kind of game. So we go straight into where I left on a battle. Yeah, I like these single player games. These kind of these games I, I love playing when I am doing renders or something like that on my on my computer and I can just sit down and. Play these when I can't do anything else. So, we'll load in. Okay, come on. There we go. In we go. So, there we go. Ugh, skeletons. Barrow's thing. Not mine. Voice Where actors. I love having voice actors in games. Makes me happy because that means I'd love to read it. Now, the text is still there, but you can. Get away if not having to read it, you can just list it. And the voice acting, sometimes a little corny, sometimes a little ooh, But, all in all, I quite enjoy it. So. Down below, where do you want me? Go drag and battle. Easy and drop him here. Each character has their pluses and minuses. But you'll find me there when I'm ready. And these two characters actually synergize in a way, as he, the battle, the, I don't even know what you call him, the old man in the trench coat. I don't know, sometimes he has a spade, I think he's a grave robber. Uh, who's got a weird backstory. Every cat actually has a little backstory, it's kind of nice. Uh, he actually gives a boost to my other characters. So it works like the same way as like any other tower defense. You have the path. You know, they come around here. And then you have the list of how many things. And you're just trying to stop them getting through the barricade. But what you can do in this, what you can't do in some tower defenses, now, is you can actually you move your characters. And you can upgrade them as they go along. So we're going to give a charge to... I'm going to give him the charge. 
Because the next one, I think, yep, vampires right. His his specialty. Let me handle. Here we go. And we just keep on hitting them till we get them. Now, different characters, different abilities. Here we got the new slow scale. Shows them they're coming in. Oh, something about this game I just like. Oh, here comes the next load. Oh, and coins. You get coins to upgrade your town, upgrade your weapons. Trust me. Leave it to me. Upgrade him as well, because we've just got the next wave, and they are skeletons. End of the line. Something about the art aesthetics in this game just made me really go, oh, this is nice. It's, again, it's not the most in-depth game. It isn't going to... Earth-shattering uh, story or something like that. It's just a Dunk nice little game. Chest. <laughs> the living, ch the <laughs> living chest what is basically, uh, you know, it's the loot dice. It's the minion that just gives you tons of loot if you kill it. And we should be able to kill it really fast. We've also got regen. So you have to just keep on hitting no it. No match for our combined powers. Look sharp, Jack. It left a few fireballs. We can lump them at monsters. Ah, I. Right. You have consumables as well, you have to use up. Right, we have a boss character coming in. She's slowed, but she's a boss. Oh, we can nearly do a second update. Just tell me where to go. Here she comes. You know where to find me. Ready, so we try this. Fire. Bit of overkill, but I'll probably regret that as the next wave that has speed boost comes in. Father. Scale, so that's what you want him. Gives him more ability. Oh, we're just destroying these ones now. Fire will. It progressively gets harder and harder, as like you'd expect. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. I'm done here. It's time. You gonna get away? Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, no, never mind. Here. Back to the place. I'm here if you need me. I'm actually, I need a little more power for this level. Eliza. Just tell me where I'll find you. Oh, these guys have armor, so I might try another bomb. Eat this. Hang on. Hmm. Oh, well, let me deploy that. Oh well, alright. <laughs> Never mind, didn't have to use it, they all died anyway. Oh, come on. Uh, is this the last wave? Last wave. Oh, now he likes me to play it. He was a little too close to my character, that was it. Ooh, we're done here, preacher. We can shoot and bomb our way right to Count Necrosis. And there's your main bad guy, Count Necrosis. Was actually his father. Was but only gives you a little if twist. We also learn new skills and rebuild the town. Is there a, oh. And now we're back to town. Now, this is single player. No, oh, that's very loud. <laughs> this is single player only right now. But what's going to happen is they're going to add multiplayer. And yeah, I've got some runes, sweets. And some points to upgrade my characters. Now, you'll notice there's two currencies right now. Now, so far, there is no microtransactions. I said it does have a feeling that that looks very much like a mobile phone microtransaction screen. There's no mention of any microtransactions in anything, so that might just be me being paranoid and, you know, I'm always a paranoid person, but I hope there's not any microtransactions because it would ruin this game. So what can we rebuild? We can upgrade something. So, upgrade you. No, we can't upgrade you yet. No. No. Okay, so let's get this in. Let's uh, put I got some new rune slots unlocked there, so stick that in there. Replace the default one. And that was that rune slot given. Uh, so excuse me, upgrade the damage. That's good. So there's five cards in total you'll unlock through the campaign. I've only unlocked the first two. We'll put some points into our skills.
Okay, that's not that good. And we'll keep him when rabbits. Uh, there we go. Increase his range. Let's come on, the other two characters. I wonder when I'll unlock them. Let's keep on playing. The exterior, the hotel. <laughs> so far, I found the game very easy, but I hope that it's going to ramp up a little bit more. I've not lost a level yet, there are invalids but now trapped in the open, we'll have to clear the area. Now it's going to get more difficult. <laughs> and I look at the waves and go, like, "Oh, okay, it's not getting interesting." So now we've got the change: two paths. I knew this was going to happen, and I'm not going to move forward to this, so let's... Uh, that What's gives happening? me yes. a range boost. Doubles my range. Maybe a mistake. Oh, I should have put him over there. Now, let's do this. No point having them there yet. Let's get them some damage done. So I kind of like the idea that you're able to move your character instead of just uh, the character being stuck where it's, it's time. Maybe, no it? time to lose. Come on, shoot, shoot. I should have paid attention and pulled the other character out first, but that was a mistake. I'll hang back. Just tell me. Uh, here we go. <laughs> now we're talking. I actually might lose this. I mean, the first time they actually get through the defences. Or not just gonna be by the neck of my teeth. Nope, need to move him. You know where to find me. Let oh, me handle this. Just. I'm here if you need me. Father, on my way. So yellow path for these ones. And they're armored, so they're gonna do more damage, but I put points into armor piercing, so. I'll hang back. I can now drag you in. Now you're not going to do a lot of damage against these, but the next wave is these. Back off, Father, evil. no time to lose. The right guy at the right place. There we go, get some points then. Yes, that's better. You know where to find me. So I can see this Let with multiplayer being actually quite go. good, especially with the multi-paths. So you know, one person controls one hero, one person controls another hero. That actually could be quite interesting. How the game runs so far, very stable, I'm not running into any problems, uh, FPS is really high, so for an early access game that's great. You know, it's not crashed, it's not done anything, sh pardon me, it's not crashed or done anything yet, so that's always a good sign. See you later. So I'm Let me you just, there, uh, I'm done here. Now I'm here, just tell me I'll Sacred get power. it done. Double his range. Ooh, and you cast, and you've been. I've not seen this one before. I'm here if you need me. He's on base. Let's do this. And it's on a yellow path. So it doesn't diverge till there anyway. Ugh, zombies! My bolts are useless. They just stick in their dead flesh. And my holy water barely slows them down. Sam Hain to the rescue! Stand back or burn with the corpses, old men. So we got heat. Our third hero. Just right. tell me where to go. Here we go. See you later. Burn them. Watch out, burn. Ah, yeah, so it's a little pumpkin fire flinging little child. I can level that. Yes, against zombies. Every character has their pluses and minuses. So you're gonna have to chop them, change them out. So what's the next? The next few waves are just all zombies. So she just leave her at it. Oh, and we also have the village mob ability, but you only get one pair around. So I'll snatch out. I can take care of myself. Let's pull these two back. Watch out! I can take care of We're gonna re release the village mob. No time to lose. It's a consumable, so you only have a certain amount per level. Where did they go? Ah, here they come. The village mob. I'll hang back. Are you Please, I'm coming. They just chew through the line and kill everyone. 
It's... It can, it can be handy if you get into a run. Why? Last time batch of zombies. Go. So we're at wave six and nine. Come on, last batch. But again, if we get to here, they'll then divert. Oh, I can track you. Well, I forget. You can't handle me. Sure, for you. Eliza. I'll find you. I need a trust me. No time to wait. I'm getting too old. Now it's on our car range, so that's actually not bad. Gotcha. Please come back. You can also focus fire all your characters onto one person if you wanted to by double clicking on them. It's only really useful when you're dealing with bosses. Quellus level? Uh, let's... Are you sure? You I'm coming for you. Let me do this. Uh, let me have uh, Yep, she's, she's the strongest against the vampires. Slow her down. Mm, last one. Okay. Oh, just a second. Last loop. Last loop? Last group? Hey! <laughs> oh, just... Three guys? No, actually, three more. That quite well. Uh, can I charge anyone? I can actually charge him up. Charging up just gives them better abilities. Uh, ups and the move. Actually, that affects the runes you can use. I need a rest. Trust me. I'm gonna put him into the range extender. So there's actually other things that other just range extenders. Ones that increase D, uh, DPS. The other ones that uh, just give you bonuses. The other stats. You know, I've had one that was giving speed boost. I think that was my attack speed. You only have one person at a time. Another horde. The corpses are mine. The rest are yours. Oh, so we have. You remind me of myself when I was young. Such fire. I like it. I'm done here. Are you I actually have me? two waves. Yeah, we actually got two at the same time, so if, they, if I, this one doesn't die, this is gonna go down two different paths. What could be a problem? Fire it will. Yeah, I might it move you. Up. Yeah, we have to move you. Crap. I'm getting too old. Couldn't risk that, I could have been better. Oh no, nope, didn't want to do that. Oh no! Let me can't move much faster. By the power of the Lord. So that actually one for the speed boost nearly got through. Luckily these are nice and slow, so this should be easy pickings. Oh, actually bring man. everyone up. I'm now on my way. Back off, sinner! You guys will need me if you want to get past the Queen of Corpses. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Pumpkin. I've spent about four hours in this game that I should have been doing work. So, in my opinion, that's great. It does have a little bit of a mobile fo phone feel to me. I could see that actually working really well on an iPad, but I'm enjoying it. I've definitely probably ended up completing it. Uh, and if the multiplayer comes out and I can harass some of my friends to buy it as well, I think I'll end up at least trying to multiplayer out with a couple of people. It could be quite interesting. Uh, for some interesting level design. Uh, especially with multiple paths, multiple interesting an uh, enemies. And it's actually, I'm quite interested to see where the story goes in this. Uh, right now it's on Steam for 10 99 as standard, but it does have a discount right now of 10%. I think it brings it down to £9 something. Uh, yeah, it's a good little game for what it is. A tower defense, most tower defenses are just pop your towers down and hope you've got them in the right order. Uh, this one of the great able to move your characters adds just a nice, nice little twist to tower defense. So, see what you think. I hope everyone enjoyed this little first look. And uh, if you enjoy it, please watch more of my videos. See you all later. Bye.